And while everybody's out on the West Coast throwing up them W's, woo -woo, I'm throwing up that East Side. How do I? I don't even remember how to do it. Uncle Bokow, I'm here in the building, North Kakalaki. And I got another Carolina favorite from Jill's Creations. This is Scorpion Dill Pickles. Never tried them before. You guys know I was messing around. I wanted some hot pickles like a month or two ago. And I just threw a bunch of pepper powder and, you know, made some. But they I guarantee you they weren't as good as these because I'm not a pickle maker. Oh, yeah. Well, am I going to eat this whole jar solo? I would, but I, I got something special here. These are uh, organic uh, 8515 grass-fed beef. Organic uh, Horizon American cheese on Organic Dave's white bread. So we're going with the hood burger. I'll tell you a little story behind that. And with just a dab of organic mustard and ketchup and pickles. Perfect burger right there. You could throw a little onion on it. Could. Sometimes, sometimes I, I like onion real, you know, real thin. So let's do a solo bite of one. And then we're going to go in and try it on a burger. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, those are tasty. Oh yeah. A little bit of little 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 mustard seeds on there. Mmm. Oh. Guys, I am an avid pickle lover, okay? Problem is most of those pickles in the store are, are, are not good. So I'm just gonna do a little mustard here and there, not too much. I think too much mustard can ruin a burger. And then we're gonna do a little bit of this. This is the 50% uh, the less sugar tomato ketchup. And what that does is, this really, I don't know, lets the taste, it lets you taste the meat better. If you got good meat. I don't eat meat all the time, but when I do, it's good meat. And Dave's does make hamburger buns, but I didn't want that. I'll tell you the story behind the, uh, all right, let's load these bad boys up. The white bread burger. I worked at Catawba College in the kitchen there. I was a chef and, and uh, the kids loved, the you know, college kids, they loved anything I made. But some days we had to go ahead and make, uh, you know, simple stuff and then burgers was on the menu for the next day all right so we got this load up with lots of pickles and then we got a grand finale scorpion pepper i'm gonna put that in there we're gonna bite into that scorpion pepper first get our burn going and then i'll tell you the story behind the hood burger mm. Wow, that was beautiful. I had a little bit distinct flavor than the pickles, but it tasted like the pickles. Wow, and there's more in there, guys. Look at that. That's scorpion peppers right there. This is top notch right here. Woo! So anyways, I had burgers on the menu one day at Catawba, and uh, when I made burgers, I had a burger bar. Everything was decked out. Decked out. I'd have one of those, um, the clear punch bowls that with the nozzle thingy, I forgot what you call them drink dispenser nonetheless with the witch doctor in it i don't know if you guys know about the witch doctor drink but it's from uh 
What a burger, I think it is. Yeah, but it's not the What a burger, the chain. It's well, there's a couple of them. But anyways, out of Canapolis, Concord, they make a drink. They mix a whole bunch of sodas together, put a couple pickles on top of the ice, and a little bit of pickle juice in it. I said I'll never try that. Then I tried it, and I loved it. So I had, I just was so excited about Burger Day. Put the witch doctor drink out there. Got everything, every condiment, every topping you can think of. No buns. But I did have some really awesome white bread. Yep. And so, I said, well, didn't have time for somebody to run to the store. Our truck was coming in later that day or the next day. Just put the white bread out there. And everybody's like, oh, yeah, they came and see me. New York, they called me. New York got the hood burgers, they said. And so, uh, yeah. And some of us, when we were kids, we, we didn't have hamburger buns. We made out of white bread before. So, nothing new. But, uh, I don't know if when we were younger... Maybe hamburger buns were more expensive. And our parents were like, ah, just get white bread. Most likely the reason is just because they didn't have any hamburger buns. Now me, I just got came from the store. And I was going to buy hamburger buns. And I decided not to. And the girls right now are having veggie burgers. And uh, they had some rice and vegetables. And so they're having veggie burgers with made him a little sauce over that so and uh so I, I just decided i had to get them some good white bread for their breakfast tomorrow and i was like i'm gonna make the uh the hood burgers and, and i'll tell the story so pickles are phenomenal the whole jar is about to get eaten mm. I got a little bit of heat to them. Yeah, it's like when you swallow that, the pickle, the juice, you can feel it on the back of the throat. And then you start feeling the tongue burn come a little bit later. Um, what if we just pop another scorpion this right, right there? Just set it there like a monument. Mm. Well, good luck to everybody out in Cali. Um, I will be watching. I mean, all my, oh, not all, but the majority of my chili head friends from all over the country are there. And uh, some from over the pond. So, they're going to have a good time in the uh, America Belt match. Um, yeah, a couple other things going on, but um, we, we couldn't be there, and that's okay. The, the, we, we made it to the last shindig. I mean, well, good luck to everybody. Um, anybody watching, if you've never ordered anything from JulesCreations.com, you are missing out. I mean, look at I got our sauces right here. Reaper sip and um, Devil's Fox Trap. Oh, yeah. Got more back here. Big, huge bottle. I got a reorder. Yep. Corpse Survivor. It's my second or third bottle. That I don't remember. I got another one here. No. This is a double spot. The other one was uh, Satan's Tears. Uh, this is another one. Never tried before. Oh. I, I got lots of sauce. You guys see that shelf is full. I got sauces for days. Woo! really good the burns uh i mean eating it with food of course is mellowing it out but you guys want to see me do a little a little dot of the the reaper set on the burger with the scorpion pickles I'll, I'll do it for you guys oh look at that oh yes the devil's ketchup mmm mmm
Woo! That's a hot one, guys. It's called Reaper Sip. Uncle Bull Cow Award winning. Um, the best Reaper sauce I've ever had. She mixed that very well. well you guys know I don't like, prefer, I don't like fresh Reapers. Or a lot of Reaper sauces I don't care for. Either they don't have enough Reaper in it, or they're not made right and they have too much Reaper and they're too bitter. But if you can perfect that sauce with, you know, if you use other peppers, whatever you put in it, uh, and, and make that that perfect balance, it's like, whew, best Arm Reaper sauce I've ever had right there. Yep. Oh, it's pickles. Look at that. Mmm. that I didn't order two of these, y'all. All right, I said another whole burger. How many pickles is on a burger? Three pickles, Let, let's go with a little bit more. Four pickles, ah, ah, ah. Five pickles, ah, ah, ah. One scorpion, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. If you haven't figured it out right by now, I love extra pickles. Actually, when I eat like fast food burgers, which I don't do that often, but when I do, I order extra pickle. Um, the Whopper. I want pickle in each bite. Um, Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen's burgers, the vegetables are always nice and crisp and fresh. The bun's good. Their pickles are phenomenal, good quality. But their burgers are kind of dry, cardboardy. I don't know. The burger itself, you know. But I get one with extra pickles and it somehow just makes me forget about the dryness of the burger and it's good. So, woo! All right. Look how sweating. Look how's burning. Really good job, Jules, on these. <sighs> Man. If you're sitting there wondering, what well, the fuck I was reaching in the jar with his fingers? I'm eating the whole jar player and drinking the juice. I wouldn't do that if I was sharing it, would you? But then again, I wouldn't share it with you. Wow. All right, I'm going to finish my stuff up here. Show you guys the jar one more time. So it looks like. Go to JewishCreations.com and grab you some of these. But don't make the mistake that I made. Only order one. Order at least two. Yeah. 